Let's do it. The Battle of the Bulldogs at Lobo Stadium in Longview, Kilgore, Chapel Hill. The rematch. Kilgore was trying to stand on business while Chapel Hill wanted to get their lick back. Started this first half blazing. Quick hand out to J-Bo. Cook finds that gap, keeps it pushing all the way to the end zone. Cook rolls on in. They could not catch him. Chapel Hill started off hungry. They're going to be at the goal line yet again now to start this one off. It's going to be Demetrius Brisbane again. This time, Ricky Stewart. And look at this. He's going to go right up the middle, bulldozing his way, taking some hits. You can't bring him down that easy. SMU commit is in for the touchdown. They're up 14-0 early here. Kilgore now with a chance to respond. This play works, and it's working again here. P.J. Wiley over a defender's head. Head tap in the corner of the end zone to put the rage in red on the board. But, man, you know Chapel Hill was cooking in the first. You're going to get Demetrius Brisbane again. All reliable quarterback keeper. He's going to slide on in for a touchdown. Bulldogs making their mark like they're here to stay. Watch this play closely, though. Going to get a little quick handoff to the receiver. He's going to be taken down immediately here in the backfield. Balls on the ground. Red and blacks on it. And there you go. Kilgore gets it. It's only hype, though, if you can back it up with the touchdown. Here's Williams. Hand it off to Isaiah Waters right up the middle. And he's going to go right on in for the touchdown. He's getting some DK Metcalf throwing up some of the signs there as well. But Chap Hill position now. Under pressure, he's going to throw it, but this time it's going to be intercepted by Zaylin Stoker. Takes off to the left side here before finally being taken down. Let's get right to it. Kilgore ball, third down. Williams, he's going to throw it deep, but this time it's going to be Javen Mayfield saying, not on my watch. Knocks that away, no sir. And now another desperate attempt. Try and score before halftime. Get something going momentum-wise. Williams throwing deep again, but this time it's not going to be broken up. It's going to be picked off. Josh Castaneda put that one on the huddle, baby. Chapel Hill up 21 to 13 at halftime. Man, was this close. Kilgore scored, but they couldn't get the two-point conversion. 21 to 19, your final. Chapel Hill, they're going to play San Antonio Davenport next week. Hey, let's go right back out to Lobo Stadium there. Serenity got to witness another Hi, classic Ray. battle of the Bulldogs. She's out live. I see that gold trophy there. I see Coach Reardon, Demetrius Brisbane, Tell us all about this game, how it went down, Serenity. Man, they said they wanted to get their lick back, and that's exactly what they did. Coach, I'm going to come to you first here. Tell me about your initial feelings right now. Uh, just happy to still be playing. I mean, these, these guys are blessed. God is good, and, you know, he took care of us. And uh, our kids just showed up and played tonight. Uh, you know, like you said, the game started out fast, and we were rolling. Deep, you know, Kilgore kind of figured out what we were doing and, and stopped us a little bit, but then we got the ball there at the end, and, uh, you know, we did our thing. Our defense played lights out. Our O-line played lights out, and uh, we're just happy to still be playing. Now that fourth quarter was pretty crazy with the touchdown being called back and also Kilgore scoring and then going for two. So tell me how you were just keeping the guys calm there. You know, we, we've been in, you know, this is these guys, you know, 45th game in three years. So they've been through everything. They've seen everything. You know, we've been down 17 at halftime and came back and win. And they just battle adversity. Uh, they're resilient. They're great kids. They work hard. And they just come out tonight and uh, beat a very good football team. All right, Demetrius, I'm coming to you. I spoke to you on Wednesday. You told me you feel like Kilgore's a little bit cocky and you want to get that look back. Tell me about that. Uh, uh, it was just all about uh, us playing hard. We all came together and played hard, so that uh, put a big factor in the scene. We played fast. Uh, we was doing like uh, reading our keys. Or, uh, <clears throat> our offense did a really good job today, uh, backing us up, uh, helping us uh, get what we needed, and our defense uh, uh, got us some good stops to uh, help us uh, go back and score. So. Now tell me about these honey buns you got here. Is that your little victory treat right there? Uh, this is my. These are my favorite snacks. Like I can eat these all day. You know, all these day. birthday was just the other day, so yeah, it's a good birthday present. Yeah. Great birthday present. Play on my birthday next week. So. Oh, we love that. So it's all the good juju for you guys. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you so much. Back to you, Bryce. <laughs> well, there you go, the Chapel Hill Bulldogs. That's the third straight year they'll be going to the state semifinals. They take down Kilgore there, and wow, it just. Now that you could say that, I play San Antonio Davenport, and like you just heard, on Coach Reardon's birthday, looking for a nice birthday gift, looking to finally get past that state semifinal hump, make it to the state championship game. Let's keep it going.